What's going on gamers? In today's MLB The Show 21 video, we're going to go over the fastest and most effective way to complete the seven inning program that just released the past 30 minutes. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the red subscribe button down below and turn your notifications on. Shout out to the MVPs and the MVP elites. Roll to 10K. Let's go. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. All right, so you can see the new seventh inning bosses, Hank Aaron, Spencer, Turkelson, and Tony Gwynn. And it's a lot of great, great rewards on the path to getting these seventh inning bosses now in the top left corner we got over 1.6 million stubs that is still for sale so if you're interested in getting stubs for the cheapest price anywhere make sure that you hit me up on twitter or instagram right now before they are sold there's one person interested but if you want 1.6 million stubs or if you want 1 million stubs let me know Let's get into the best method to be able to get your inning bosses. The first thing you're going to want to do with the XP cap is to make sure that you are utilizing the walk method. You are playing the regular games like Conquest, and then you are using the ball player method. So if you come down here to my ball player and you come down here to your loadout and you come down here to the program, right now I am using the Hawk. Inside of this, you can use all of these, every single one of them, from bronze to silver. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to help you get the program finished. Each and every one of these stubs has potential to get you XP. So all of these right here is 11,000 XP right here. We got 11,000 XP, 11,000 XP, 11,000 XP. That's going to get you a big push. So while you are grinding the program, you're going to be getting free stubs. You're going to be getting XP and you bounce back and forth between the ball player method and conquest and the regular games that you are playing online that's going to get you unlimited xp because the ball player is a mission it's not gameplay so if you play the game online you play one online or two online ranked games and then you do events or conquest that's another gameplay and then if you do the walk method in the ball player method, the ball player method, you can get up to 60 to 100,000 XP in one day. If you grind for five to seven hours, you can finish this whole program in the first 28 hours. OK, just grinding, being dedicated. So depending on the perk that you are using, it's going to be 11,000. Sometimes it's going to be 8,000. Sometimes it's going to be 7,000. But you're going to begin at one, two, three, four different times so you do the math 11 11 11 11 that's going to put you up to about 44,000 xp now in the seven inning program you're going to be getting free rewards on the way as you can see you got headliner packs right here you got free five pack bundle right here at only 32,000. so if you was to come down here to collections and you were just to collect three different cards that's 50,000 xp if you was to do the player program right here, that's another 35,000 XP. Then you have the seventh inning conquest goals that's going to give you XP for completing it and XP for doing it. OK, then you have your regular missions. You could do as many offline or online, depending on what you like to play. And that's going to get you a lot of XP also. So usually inside of these, I do two to three missions. I would do the collections. I would do the seventh inning. I would do the ball player method to get myself up to about 220 to 230,000 XP in the first day. And then I will come in, I will do the walk method once or twice, and then I will play my moments. And that will put me up to that first boss. So getting to 350,000 is gonna get you that first boss right here. And then on the way, you're gonna be getting legend skins. You're gonna be getting more five packs. You're gonna be getting more headliners. You're gonna be getting lower overalls, the 95, 94 overalls that you might wanna use, the finest cards. And then if you just hold them for a couple days, the prices will elevate. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on the video. This is the fastest way to get your seventh inning bosses for free without having to spend any stubs. 
But if you don't have the collection players already, you can use my roster investment tips. So you should have extra stubs on the side. You can buy the cheapest stubs on the market from me, way better than what SDS is giving you, way better than any other stub selling site. I have the best value for the stubs. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, turn your notifications on, become an MVP or MVP elite and dominate this seventh inning program and get yourself some free beasts. Let's go.